What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video and today is a special one. For this video I've invited Ransom Beats to hop on on one of my samples. So right now I'm gonna create a sample and I'm gonna send it to Ransom Beat and I think it will be very helpful for you guys to see how a top YouTube producer or industry producer creates a full beat. So I'm really excited creating this video, so let's get started. So I want to create something which really fits the sound of Ransom Beats. So I'm gonna create the sample in 106 BPM, definitely will be adjusted. So first I want to start off with some classic keys and this is something when I listen to his beats, he definitely uses it. So let's use the stage 73, all presets. So let's use the default mark VA. And I want to add a kind of drag and catch vibe. So I'm gonna create this beat in E minor. So when I'm selecting the scale, E minor natural, I'm starting off with this simple chord, EGB. When it comes to this chord, I want something upwards at this third chord. So let's pick the chord in between, make sure it fits the E minor scale. I don't like this one. Mm. So I think a cop progression like this really represents Ransom's sound. So right now let's strum it because it's an Afrobeat always. I make sure to preserve end so it's not exceeding the four bars. Okay, this already sounds great. So let's move on to the next layer. So I want to send him something really orchestral or use some wind woods or something. So let's open up Contact, which is a buffer plugin for XC for achieving a sound like this. Session Strings to Pro. Simply copy this one to this one. Sounds beautiful. So I just want to add another layer from contact. So let's pick a flute or something. So I'm gonna use this flute essential. I mean, those plugins sound so realistic, it's crazy. Right now let's start off with the root note again. I make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm adding this right here. Something downwards right here. So let's clone this one because I want to add a little bit more high frequencies. One octave higher. You could also duplicate it into one piano roll, but I just like to clone the synthesizer. So let's use another synth from contact or instrument. So let's use Maybe a horn. So let's just see session horn, single articulated. This one, which is used in a lot of Afro beats. So let's try in this E. Just another layer which you could definitely work around with. So now I want to add some low frequencies. So let's use another instrument from Contact. I want to use a bass. So let's use the Scar Pre bass, this one. Uh, this one sounds really like a bass guitar. So let's use this one. So I think right here it sounds low enough. So right now I'm just following the lower notes from the chord progression. Just this one. And right here I use this G. So right now let's slice it up so it sounds like a real bass guitar. So I'm gonna select the slice tool. I always like it when the notes don't sound perfect when it comes to a bass guitar. Space in between. So add one note right here and then play around with the velocity to make it sound more realistic. shorten this one a little bit and then just option R randomize it again so this one doesn't sound perfect but that's the whole point but I think it sounds great so we're now create the final sample split up all the elements rename them and right now it sounds like this
just this one very dry. Strings coming in, added some reverb. Just one horn. So I didn't add too much reverb or effects to the elements because I think Ransom will add them itself. So for me personally, when I receive a sample with too much effects and reverb, it's pretty hard to make any adjustments later on. And I will send him the stems or the separate instruments so he can play around, create an interesting arrangement. So that's it when it comes to creating a sample and I'm gonna send it to Ransom Beats and I'm pretty sure he will cook up something crazy. And I will try to edit his cook up as less as possible. So you can see all his steps and how he creates a beat from scratch. So I hope you enjoy it. So again, a big thanks to Ransom Beats and I'm really looking forward to the result. Yo, what's good guys? My name is Ransom Beats. I'm doing a collab with 7 Beats. So he basically sent me a melody. So I'm going to do the drums and finish up the beat from here. So let's go. So this is what 7 Beats has for us and played. Like this, I'm going to pitch the flute down. I'm going to pitch everything down by negative two. some stuff in my pack as well.
plus sûr que toi. Let me use the numbers. Let me use this. Let me use this princess so it's inside.
Fusion. This one needs reverb as well. Want like a long reverb. it up by let me see eight not ten So the beat is done, so let me play it from the beginning. So welcome back guys, I hope you enjoyed the cook up from Ransom Beats. So he just sent me a screen recording of the final beat and now I'm gonna listen to it. And I'm really looking forward to the final result. So big thanks to Ransom Beats and let's have a listen right now. I pitch down the sample. Drums sound crazy, as expected. I mean, this beat has so much atmosphere, it's crazy. Bass guitar. Mix sounds so clean, man. 
So I think the final beat is finished perfectly. It just sounds so clean. And I think the drums and everything you added goes very well together with the sample. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this beat in the comments. So make sure to let me know. And I think also Ransom Beats will really appreciate it. And that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this cool cup. I really enjoyed creating this beat together with Ransom Beats or creating this video together with him. I think he's a really awesome producer and he's definitely one of the top industry producers when it comes to Afro Beats. And I think that's all I have to say, man. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the full video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.